This video is going to explain how you set up a Facebook business page. It can seem simple to some, but maybe not to others. So we're going to walk you through step by step exactly how you set up a Facebook business page, all the best practice and all the tips that you can use to make best use of it. In 2023 and beyond, people do search around. People will check out your Facebook business page whilst they're researching your business. So it's important that it is optimized for best practice. And we're going to show you exactly how to do that right now. Let's dive in. Okay, so we are in the Facebook platform and what you're going to do is you're going to come up here. We are, of course, on the desktop. Um, so you can do this on mobile, but we would suggest that you do it on the desktop where possible. So you come here into pages. Uh, these are some of the pages here that we manage and you're going to click on create new page. That will bring you into all this information here on the left hand side. So you just want to um, add the page information. So what is the page name? Now, remember, this isn't something um, this, this is something, sorry, that your customers are going to see. So you need to have. So if I was setting it up for Lilac James 2, um, then that is what the client is going to see. So you need something in there professional and relevant. So this is just going to be Lilac James test category. We could put in there marketing. Okay, so marketing agency, you can put several different categories in there if that fits. And then you're going to have your description. So you're going to want to put something in there relevant because your customers are going to actually see this information. So we could put um, marketing agency focused on social ads, Google ads and SEO. Naturally, you're going to want to put something in there a bit more creative, a bit more thought provoking that really talks to your talks to your customers. But like I say, this is just a test. So we will click on create page. OK, so we are in and then you will go to add your profile picture. Your profile picture is the bit that will appear here. And that is the bit that will appear that people will see when you message them. So it has to be relevant. It has to be um, has to be succinct. You don't want anything too busy in there. Um, so as an example, over here, this is one of our clients out and about. You can see their profile image here is their logo. It's the N, which also looks like a buggy and it's nice and clear, crisp and concise. So it works really well for a profile image. Then you've got your cover photo. You do need to bear in mind the dimensions for this. The Facebook platform will help you if you hover over this eye, not doing it unhelpfully for me now. Um, there you go. So try using an image that is 16 by 40 by 856 pixels because it has to cut lengthwise across the face of the screen there. So once you've done that, you would just click save. And then you want to connect your Facebook WhatsApp, Facebook to WhatsApp. And essentially, guys, all you do is you work through step by step. So I'm going to come out of this now. And my Facebook page is now created, the Lilac James test. And I want to go through and I want to ensure that every part of this Facebook profile is fully set up as much as physically possible. So you're going to have the images here. This is where you can put in a different button. So you can choose from all of these buttons down here. That can be if you've got a shop, uh, if you want people to sign up to a list, if you want people to email you, if people you want people to contact you. Um, the list goes on, but you have to think and you have to be also responsive. So if you've got a WhatsApp number, you have to be responsive or make it clear to people when you will be responding to them. This will give you an idea of the amount of steps and how well that your page is set up. Um, you can establish identity and literally you're just going to work your way through and complete everything as much as physically possible. So this is how you fill out the about page and you can edit your page info. You can put in your username, contact information can all go in here. Location, this is really important, particularly if you're a location based business that only services, for example, within a certain radius of your business address. The hours that you work, are you no hours? Are you always open? Are you permanently closed? Open with selected hours and you can put in your business hours here. So literally just take, take some time, do this properly. This is the public face of your business. This is what people will see if they click on your icon. 
then they are coming through to your Facebook page from your ads. Make sure that you get some reviews in there and just go through it all and set it up as much as you physically can. Once you've done that, we're ready to create the business manager page, which we'll come on to next. So now you know how to set up a Facebook business page, which like we'd explained is the shop window for your business. In the next video, we're gonna cover how you set up a Facebook business manager page, which gives you some increased added functionality in how you manage your business presence on the Facebook platform, granting people access and more. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. There's gonna be loads of really useful content on here about SEO, Google ads, and Facebook advertising and other marketing metrics. So we'll see you next time.